Michael Bay watched 60 Minutes one night. And he saw Julian and I flying around mountains in Norway. He called Spielberg and was like, I got to have wingsuits in Transformers 3. Michael took that idea, though, and of course, made it bigger. Ready? Here we go. These are actual people flying wingsuits in a downtown city environment, which has never been done before. So it's a lot about geography. You know, we're coming around the Willis buildings, and then we're going to turn around 311 Wacker, and then we're going to go out here, and then we're going to land, and we only have this area. So for them, it's really nerve wracking. Yeah, we do tons of flying. We fly mountains, though. This is like nothing else. This was pretty advanced skill level stuff for us. Skipping breakfast, going straight to launch. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for them to be able to go jump off the Sears Tower in Chicago. When people see it, I think there's going to be a natural tendency to believe that it's fake, and in fact, it's not. It was all done real. And it looks fantastic in 3D. We have five cameras rolling at any time on the stuff. Three ground cameras, although they're typically on the tops of buildings. Uh, an aerial stabilized camera. And also a stereoscopic head-mounted camera that Julian Bull is wearing. He really jumps out with his guys, and he's right on their tails. We shut down Michigan Avenue, jumping off the Trump Towers. If you can think of anything imaginable to break all the rules, that pretty much did it. I think Michael Bay's movies are rad, because when you see stuff and you say, holy cow, well, that did just happen. Somebody, like me, just went out there and did something rad for a camera. All because he wants it to be real. Great job, right, thanks, Great man. Job. Hey, guys, that's it for the base jumpers.